Hey guys, I'm Evan. Welcome to Country View Acres. Today I'm going to try to get the rest of these trees cut up, chipped up, and hauled off, and hopefully get all these stumps cut off as well. So I think it was about 10 o'clock this morning by the time I had everything ready and I started cutting up the trees and it is already almost four o'clock in the afternoon. Almost six hours it took me to get all of these limbs chipped up. So the only thing left now are the logs. So we'll go ahead and see if we can get these all hauled off.
Well, I ended up getting the tree up on top of the firewood shed. I might have to try to push it off of there. So this right here, it's a black cherry tree, and I was hoping to save this for a saw log, and I had marked the tree, and anything above, the, there's a lighter line right here, but anyway, anything above that line should have been plenty high enough above the fence. So there shouldn't be any fencing in this part of the log. So we're gonna go ahead and just cut this off right there. And on this end, we'll probably go ahead and go in a few inches and just get rid of this double end and we'll just true this end up as well. Also on the end of the tree, there was a little bit of the center that was soft. So hopefully we can get past that. So we ended up with a 10 and a half foot saw log and on this side, the smallest direction is 18 inch diameter. And on this end, the diameter is about 17 inches. So I think we're gonna get some pretty decent size boards out of this. Now it isn't perfectly straight. You can probably look at it and you can tell there is a little bit of a bow in there, but I think it's a big enough diameter. We'll still get some decent boards out of it. So I've got one more thing I wanna to do to this log before I go lay it down and store it. And that is I'm gonna paint both ends of the log with anchor seal. This is a green wood sealer. And this is what Nathan over at Out of the Woods suggested I do to paint the ends of the logs. I remember I asked him a little while ago and this is what the product he suggested using. And what that does is it just seals up the ends so that they don't dry quicker than the rest of the log. And then that way your ends of the wood don't split. I'm sure you guys have seen cut off rounds of wood and they're all cracked and split. Well, this will do the same thing and this wood sealer will help prevent that. At least it'll help prevent it from being real bad. It'll still happen probably. More's gotta be better, right? I mean, just slather it on there. I think so. All right, it's the next day now, and I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting off all these stumps closer to the ground. And to do this, I'm gonna be using the Husqvarna chainsaw. The chain on it's pretty worn down. It's gonna need replaced soon, plus it's already got a couple bent teeth, and cutting this close to the ground is pretty rough on a saw. <laughs>
All I got left now are the two bigger tree stumps. I'm gonna switch to the steel chainsaw and these are gonna take a while. So on this other big stump, my memory card ended up running out as soon as I started cutting. But this one actually went smooth. I got the blade in there at the exact angle. I was able to just cut all the way through it. But it's kind of hard to tell. There's black streaks all the way through this. You can actually see black streaks in there. And I think a lot of that has to do with the fence that's in it because you can see fence coming in this side and you can see it going out the other side. So I was cutting through fence, I think all the way through. All right, I'm done with all the chainsaw work. I need to take all these stumps. I need to get them hauled off, put a brush hog on the tractor, and then we're gonna come through here. We're gonna mow this all down, get it all looking nice. And then this section of the old fence row is complete. So I just finished up brush hogging and as I drove by, I seen this. And this is the dangers of brush hogging. This is a T-post. You can see that it was clearly struck here and there, two places on the end. And I ran that over with the brush hog and it's lucky that something else didn't end up happening. That could be really bad. And on this property, as much trash and everything as there's been, this is no surprise. This has happened um, several times where you find it after the fact or you hit it. Um, the biggest thing I ran over was like a four inch piece of angle iron that was like five feet long. Thing was huge. And luckily the brush hog just kind of skimmed right over it. Well, we finally got the fence row here along the driveway all cleaned up and it looks pretty good. And we also ended up with another wagon completely full of wood chips i am so glad that this section is done and over with i am really getting tired of doing this 
it's it's all I do it seems like every weekend I am cutting down trees clearing brush chipping wood trying to clean out these fence lines so that I can get the new fencing put in here and everything is exactly the way we want it and yeah I'm kind of I am definitely tired of doing this so I am ready to move on to something else I think I'm gonna move on to fence bracing start welding a bunch of that together see if I can start getting it set in place around the pasture and maybe go back and work on the corral fence work on that loading chute I really want to move on to something else um, yeah I'm definitely tired of cleaning out all of this brush that is for sure but at least it's done and over with it looks pretty good and uh, I just missed it. there's a few trees laying down there at the very bottom that I had missed and I'll have to run those through the chipper and get them cleaned up but other than that this is all looking pretty good but I think that's gonna be it for this video guys so thanks for watching I'll see you in the next one